Good morning. So in 2015, a Greater Cleveland Quality of Life study, residents were asked what their top five most important environmental issues are affecting Cleveland and Greater Cleveland. And uh, making the list are water pollution, air pollution, sewage and sanitation, waste and recycling, and climate change. Now I believe that solving for climate change would have tremendous impact on all the other environmental issues that Clevelanders care about and think are important. In Cleveland, we emit 12 million metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent every year. That means nothing to most people, but I can tell you if every single Cleveland resident got in their, in their car and drove to Cincinnati and back to Cleveland every day of the year, that would emit 12 million metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent of greenhouse gas emissions. Climate change can seem like a global phenomenon, affecting polar bears, small island nations, and drought-stricken faraway countries. You might be asking yourself, what does climate change have to do with Cleveland? My friends, my family, my livelihood? The University of Michigan used 50 years of historical climate data. So not projections, actual factual data. And found that Cleveland's average temperature is 2.4 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than it was 50 years ago. That means that Cleveland is warming faster than the national and global averages. They also found that we are 25% wetter than we were 50 years ago. That means more precipitation, much of which is coming in intense storms. So what do these numbers really mean to you? They mean more high heat days and increased deaths and illnesses because of high heat days, especially to our vulnerable populations. They mean more flooding and erosion and water quality issues, including the potential for harmful algae blooms and sewer overflows. Experts predict our climate in Cleveland will be more like Oklahoma at the end of the century. But the good news about this climate data is that by working to reduce emissions, there's tremendous opportunity to invest in solutions that not only help the environment, but improve the quality of life here in Cleveland. So in Cleveland, residents and businesses and local government spend $1.7 billion a year on fossil fuels. That's money spent on coal, natural gas, and oil. And that's money spent in Ohio, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Kentucky, Indiana, and also Mexico, Venezuela, Russia, the Persian Gulf, and Saudi Arabia. Now, this fact is important because very few of those dollars have a positive economic impact to Cleveland and Greater Cleveland. So moving along to my vision, if we were instead to invest those dollars locally into our clean energy future, it could power our homes with renewable energy from an offshore wind farm and from distributed solar energy. We could increase the energy efficiency of our homes and businesses, creating local green jobs in the energy efficiency sector. We could restore our urban forests to help cool our city and manage our stormwater and reduce pollution. We could invest in infrastructure improvements to encourage sustainable transportation and other fossil fuel reducing initiatives. In short, we can be smart about how we solve for climate change, and we can do this in a way that solves our most pressing environmental issues, while at the same time improving our economy and improving the quality of life of Clevelanders. If we do this, Cleveland will surprise, amaze, and inspire the world with its transformation into a green city on a blue lake. Determined people from every walk of life will work together to shape vibrant and livable communities, innovative businesses, and a flourishing national, natural environment that will result in health, wealth, creativity, and economic opportunities for all. Thank you.